To begin, assess the surrounding area for risks or hazards to ensure the power stack installation can be carried out in a safe and efficient manner. Check there are no trees or overhead power lines that could impact installation or sunlight access. Before installing power stack, complete a ground scan to ensure no underground utility services are in the vicinity of the installation site. Take the concrete free foundation plate and attach the M20 bolts, keeping them a little loose so the stainless steel hinge plate can be levelled off later without any alignment issues. Mark out a 600mm by 600mm square. Then excavate down to approximately 100 to 130mm. Place the foundation plate into the hole, ensuring it is roughly level and squared off to its surroundings to meet project specification. Place micro piles into the corners of the foundation plate. Use a star picket driver to get each of the supplied piles started. Then use a minimum 45 joule jackhammer to push piles all the way into the ground. Use an impact driver or drill with the supplied high tensile screws to secure each pile. Add four M20 nuts and washers onto the four threaded rods and locate the hinge plate ensuring the hinge is facing the correct way. Tension the M20 nuts to securing the bolts to the foundation using either a 300mm shifting spanner or a large M24 spanner. Make sure the hinge plate is level and leave around 40mm of thread showing above to allow for winch attachment later. Use the four remaining nuts and washers to secure the hinge plate to the foundation and level off accordingly. Locate the power stack pole and use the hinge pin to secure the hinge plates together. Electrically connect and commission the chosen payload as per the power stack wiring instructions, whilst adhering to local DC voltage electrical codes. Place the power gen winch into position, securing it with four M20 nuts and washers. Tension accordingly. Lock the grip sleeve and rubber protector into position around 2.5 metres above the base, ensuring a tight grip to the power stack pole. Use your battery drill with a 3 8 of an inch socket to unwind the winch cable, feeding it through all three of the pulleys in the winch system, making sure the correct sequence is followed. Clip the winch cable back onto the grip sleeve and secure it with the supplied hardware. Ensure the power stack pole is elevated a minimum of 15 degrees off the ground then simply use your battery drill to winch the pole into fully upright position. Keep the winch system connected to the pole whilst using three sets of M10 bolts, nuts and washers on opposite sides to secure the two hinge plates together. The power gin winch and grip sleeve can now be removed from the power stack system. Use the remaining three sets of M10 bolts, nuts and washers as shown to further secure the two hinge plates together. Finally, level off the surrounding ground, filling in the excavated hole. Congratulations, you've completed the installation of a power stack system, providing green infrastructure into your community.